So, hello again everyone. Uh, this particular video is something that some people have run into, like myself. Um, never seen this before on one of these. This is a camshaft and distributor out of my 76 Fleetwood. Had a little bit of play back and forth in the distributor and uh, the gears are chewed all to hell. So, we're replacing the camshaft. If you could see, probably better to do it this way. This is pretty gnarly. Check out the cut on those gears. That's pretty righteous. See it a lot on that. So, we're putting a camshaft in it. And obviously I have to fix the distributor. Um, something that troubles some people. So these had the nylon with aluminum cam gear. This one is replacement steel. And the back side of these cams is your thrust surface. So we can see right here, there's your thrust surface. You see how close the threads are there. On the front of the block, there's your thrust surface. So you can see if uh, the bolts are too long, you got issues. So what I do is I get good grade 8 bolts. I mock the gear to this bad boy. This is something so simple. If, if these bolts are too long, as the cam walks back and forth, even if it's like a thread too long, it sounds just like an engine knock. So I get them all the way in. And on the back side here, of course, I have the bearing and the lobe taped up. Just give me a, you know, I don't want stuff hitting it. I cut as close as possible because there's a slight step right here. I cut as close as possible, then grind them down about a half thread. So when I run these back in, that they're not going to protrude, protrude beyond the back of this. Um, so you can see... There's a slight step, so you cut these, this will keep it from getting into the surface of the bearing there in the lobe, from throwing sparks and things. And then you get to put it in with a steel gear, and you won't have to worry about where in the hell is that knot coming from. Been there, done that, learned my lesson, there you go, you're welcome. <laughs> 